Hello everyone. Microsoft has notified that from 15th of October 2024, all the users must have multi-factor authentication enabled if they are signing into Azure Portal, Microsoft Entra Admin Center, or Intune Admin Center. And in early 2025, there will be a phase two where all the users who will log in through Azure CLI, PowerShell, or mobile application, they need to use multi-factor authentication too. Multi-factor authentication can be enabled by two ways. So the most recommended way to enable the multi-factor authentication for Azure tenant is using the conditional policies. However, the problem with the conditional policy is that it's only available for the premium tenant, which means you should have either P1 or P2 license for your Entra ID. But in this video, I'll show how to enable MFA in case of a free Entra ID user. So let me show you this in the lab. I'm logged into Azure portal now. And if I'll go to Microsoft Entra ID, if I look for it, Entra, Microsoft Entra ID. So you can see the license is free version. However, if you want to use the conditional access policies, look for conditional access policies here, Microsoft Entra conditional access, then you must have the premium license. So now I'll show you how to enable MFA in case of the free license. So you have to go to Microsoft Entra ID. In the manage, go to properties, scroll down, and there will be an option of security defaults. By default, this is disabled. You have to go in manage security defaults and enable it. After enabling the security default, whenever a user logs in, it will ask you to set up a MFA or multi-factor authentication. And it gives you a time for 14 days and then the user will be disabled otherwise. So let me create a new user first. New user. Test user one. Test user. Let me just copy this password. I'll save it somewhere. Account will be enabled. Review and create and create. New user is created now. Let me open a new window and log into portal.azure.com. Let me copy the username. And the password. Sign in. I have changed the password now. As soon as this is done, it's asking you to add additional security, which is multi-factor authentication. And this has to be done within 14 days. Next. For setting up multi-factor authentication, you need to install Microsoft Authenticator in your phone. However, you can use the different Authenticator apps also, like Google Authenticator. But I'll go with default in this case. Next. And then you have to scan this image. Open the Authenticator app and scan this QR code. And this is done. And in the Authenticator app, it will ask you to input this number. Once this is done and you will say yes and approve it, it's set up. And as you can see, the Microsoft Authenticator app registration is done. And this is how a user can log in. This happens only one time when you are setting up the MFA. However, if I log out and log in again, In that case, I have to just approve it in the Authenticator app. It'll open approve sign in and then you have to input the number which is displayed on your screen. And once that is done, automatically it will be approved here.
and now your user can log in. So using the multi-factor authentication, first you have to provide your password and then using the Microsoft Authenticator app, you need to authenticate yourself. And once both the authentication methods are approved, your user will log in. Now you know how to set up a multi-factor authentication for a user when you have a free Azure Active Directory license or Microsoft Entry ID license. But if you don't want to set up the multi-factor authentication for now because of different plans, whether you are migrating the tenant or you are going to use the paid version, which is conditional access policies. So in that case, you can postpone the enforcement of the multi-factor authentication. Go to this URL, aka.ms, manage MFA for Azure. I'll provide this link in the description of the video. It will go here. It'll ask you to sign up. And once you sign in, because I am already signed in in the different tab, then it shows that after 16th of October, all the users needs multi-factor authentication to be set up. Or you can postpone the enforcement. It will click here and click on postpone. This will be postponed. So now for this tenant, if you don't enable the multi-factor authentication, still your users will be able to log in. But this is not recommended and the Microsoft suggests that either removes your elevated access if you don't want the multi-factor authentication to be enabled. So that's all for this video. I hope you liked it. Please like and subscribe. Thank you so much.